The knight's action triggered speculation of a coup, but the military's supporters praised it as a bloodless correction. Armed soldiers and armored personnel carriers stationed themselves at key points in Harare, while Zimbabweans formed long lines at banks in order to withdraw the limited cash available, a routine chore in the country's ongoing financial crisis. People looked at their phones to read about the army takeover and others went to work or to shops. In an address to the nation after taking control of the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, an army spokesman said early on Wednesday that the military was targeting criminals around Mugabe and sought to reassure the country that order would be restored. It was not clear where Mugabe, 93, and his wife were on Wednesday, but it seems they are in the custody of the military. Their security is guaranteed, the army spokesman said. We wish to make it abundantly clear that this is not a military takeover, the army statement said. We are only targeting criminals around Mugabe who are committing crimes that are causing social and economic suffering in the country in order to bring them to justice. Read more Zimbabwean tourist is eighth victim of crocodiles. The spokesman added that as soon as we have accomplished our mission, we expect that the situation will return to normalcy. The army spokesman called on churches to pray for the nation. He urged other security forces to cooperate for the good of our country, warning that any provocation will be met with an appropriate response. The statement called on troops to return to barracks immediately, with all leave cancelled. Overnight, at least three explosions were heard in the capital, Harare, and military vehicles were seen in the streets. The military actions appear to put the army in control of the country. Read more Goblins Force 4 Zimbabwe schools to close Army Commander Constantino Chiwenga had threatened on Monday to step in to calm political tensions. Mugabe's ruling ZANUPF party responded by accusing the general of treasonable conduct. But now Chiwenga appears to be in control. The army has been praised by the nation's war veterans for carrying out a bloodless correction of gross abuse of power, Chris Mavangwa, chairman of the War Veterans Association, told the Associated Press in Johannesburg that the military will return Zimbabwe to genuine democracy and make the country a modern model nation. Mavangwa and the war veterans are staunch allies of Emerson Manangagwa, who was fired from his post of vice president by Mugabe last week. Manangagwa fled Zimbabwe last week but said he would return to leave the country. The U.S. Embassy closed to the public on Wednesday and encouraged citizens to shelter in place, citing the ongoing political uncertainty through the night. The British Embassy issued a similar warning, citing reports of unusual military activity. For the first time, this southern African nation is seeing an open rift between the military and Mugabe, the world's oldest head of state who has ruled since independence from white minority rule in 1980. The military has been a key pillar of his power.